Salut tout le monde, on se retrouve aujourd'hui avec Marie Rutkowski qui écrit euh, la trilogie de Winner's Curse ou The Curse en français chez l'humaine que vous pouvez voir juste ici. Euh, donc Marie, je vais vous laisser vous présenter peut-être un petit peu. Bonjour à tous, euh, je suis ravie de parler avec vous. Et euh, alors, je, oui, je suis écrivain, je suis aussi euh, prof à l'université, j'enseigne je, je, Shakespeare et euh, je joue le violon mal. Euh, J'ai commencé il y a 4 ans et, euh, et j'adore ça. <rire> Ce truc-là qui est très français, le carambar, c'est délicieux. Je ne sais même pas ce que tu ouais, On ne trouve pas ça aux états unis D'accord. Ben, écoutez, je suis ravie de savoir que vous aimez les bonbons au caramel, parce que le caramel, c'est la vie, n'est-ce pas euh, Je suis d'accord. Vous avez goûté le caramel beurre salé de, de la Bretagne Yes. Of course. <rire> Great. Of course. Okay. It's delicious. Si vous n'avez pas lu le, le livre, euh, en fait, on rencontre Kestrel qui, euh, un jour, achète un, un esclave. <rire> Et quelque chose qui est... Euh, assez récurrent dans, dans la série, c'est le jeu. Et du coup, euh, je me suis dit qu'on pouvait jouer à quelques petits jeux aujourd'hui. C'est okay. <rire> c'est ça. C'est ma faute parce que j'ai écrit un livre avec les jeux. C'est pour ça que... Ok, exactement. Okay. Donc, euh, je vais vous demander de plier les petits papiers que vous venez juste d'écrire. D'accord, comme ça, je les... Ouais, on un par un. Ouais. Qu'est-ce que tu as Elle a quelque chose sur la table des autres papiers. Est-ce que vous avez une idée sur le jeu qu'on va jouer euh, maintenant une petite idée. Okay. Donc, on va jouer à Mary Kiss Cliff. Comment Do you know that game No. Mary Kiss Cliff No. No. I don't, no, I don't okay. know this game. So, the idea is that you have to pick three papers and one guy you have to marry, one guy you have to kiss, and oh. one guy you have to cliff. To cliff? Is this, is this a dirty word? No, to it means to kill. Oh, okay. <laughs> Push off a cliff. So, <laughs> like I have to cliff somebody. Exactly. So, I asked Mary to write, write down uh, names from books that she liked. Um, so, male characters that she either likes or doesn't. And I have here um, names from the winner's curse. So, what we're going to do is you're going to pick two papers here, mm -hmm. and then you're going to pick one paper from my hand, and then you're going to choose who you're going to marry, who you're going to kiss, who you're going to kill. Okay. Aaron. I'm gonna Go marry on. him. I'm gonna marry oh wait, no, maybe I should wait. I'm gonna see all three before I make my final decision. That would be the wise thing to do. Aaron, Aaron. The dragon from Uprooted. Okay. Oh I want to read that one. It's a great book. I okay. Love it. I can't kill any of these. I can't That's kill the any game. Of them. Okay, and the other one is Poe from Graceling. Okay. I love that game. <laughs> okay, so Kristen Kishore is a dear friend of mine. I love her, and I hope that she forgives me for saying this. I love Poe too, but he, I'm going to cliff. Because he can read minds, and I just can't deal with him reading mine. It would be too intense. And so I know that this is a very cruel and selfish choice, but given the three that I have, I think I have to cliff him. But cliff, I would cliff him loving him with all my heart. It would be a very angst-ridden, dramatic cliffing. I will marry Aaron. Of course. He's great. And I will kiss the dragon from Uprooted. Okay. I like this game. <laughs> okay. It's fun. So pick two other names. I, I realize now I should have written down more names of... <laughs> male characters that I hated. I asked her to do he, that. She did, she did. I just wasn't very obedient, I guess. It was hard to think of one thing. I know, I put you on the spot, sorry. <laughs> I'll open yours first, I'm very curious. Ronan, yeah, mm. what to do about him? Depends on the competition, I guess. It does, Gail from the Hunger. He's going off the cliff. Oh no! <laughs> Come on! Yes. The poor guy. Can him a rest? No, why? Why should I? Cas Brecker from Six of Crows. Mm. He would not want me to kiss him though. I haven't read that one yet, so I'm well, spoiling it, please. I'm not going to spoil it, but you know, he's, he's a very dark soul and mm -hmm. 
which is what I love in books. Not in real life. You don't actually want to kiss or marry someone with a dark soul. I do not recommend it. Um, he can't bear people to touch him. Oh. It's like Christian Grey, right? <laughs> <laughs> you put on my ear. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear that person. <laughs> okay, so I have to kill someone. I'm not going to kill Kaz because I probably wouldn't succeed. And then he would... He would be my enemy, and you do not want to make him your enemy. I'm, ki I'm cliffing, Gail. Yeah. I don't want to marry Ronan. I don't want to marry him. No one wants to marry him. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't marry Kaz either. I just don't think that he'd be into me. So, I don't want to marry someone who's not into me. Do you want to stay like independent Is that woman? a choice? Okay, how about I um, friend zone Ronan? <laughs> And, and I, I kiss Kaz, and then he resents me after. Okay. I mean, fair enough. Cheat. Oh, <laughs> yuck. Cliff. <laughs> I don't even care who these two are. Oh, Mr. Darcy. That's Mary. The one I saw. Mary. Oh, I kind of wanted to clip Henry V from the <laughs> Shakespeare play. I, he's such an ass. He's so self centered. Yeah. But. Is less disgusting than cheap? Oh yes, surely. I will kiss him. I will kiss Henry V. Um, and I will marry Mr. Darcy. Okay, great. Who did you choose? No, the last one was... Rx. Yikes. Right. Yeah, <laughs> also Cliff. So that was the first game. So that I was a fun you game. Enjoyed it. I did very much. Okay, so the next game is called Who Said? So, do you know your character as well? Do you know what you wrote? <laughs> I, I sure hope so, or I'm going to embarrass myself. Okay. So let's start. So who said, I could lie, people lie? Castro said that. Good! Who said, everything in war hinges on what you know of your adversary's skills and assets? Oh, that's Castro's father. That's good. Who said, I won't hold that against a horse? I think that's Aaron. Definitely. Love that quote, by the way. Thanks. Who said, you were known for your beauty? Of course, that was before the war. That's Aaron. And no, that isn't! That was in I. Oh, you're right! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was it? Yes! Yeah. She was having a conversation with That's Kestrel, right. That's and right. And she was asking about whether um, they were remembered for something. Yes. Yes. There's a moment later where Aaron is clearly thinking it, yeah. but doesn't say it. I know, it. that's, that's, that's the right. game. That's why I thought it was Aaron. Who said, I'll ride with you to Irex's house and see you safely home after you've won? That's Ronan, poor Ronan. Yeah. Who said, if I had my choice, I would kill you? Kestrel's father. Yeah. Who said, what you want doesn't matter. Tomorrow you must make a choice. Who did say that? Um... The Emperor? Nobody. Nobody. It was actually from another book. <laughs> You're so tricksy. <laughs> I know. So who said, we won't talk about the fact that as much as you like to win, you're acting as if you're determined to lose. That's Jess. Yeah, I love that quote too. Um, who said, maybe your little plan will be dead in the water, just like all of you. Castro. Definitely. And who said, it's harder to live. Aaron. Yeah. That's good. You're good. So you remember who said what? I, I, I'm glad I did not embarrass myself too much. I mean, I mean, you must have written that book like long ago. I mean, it's then two true. other books came out in the series, so you could have had mistaken some I could have. That's could've. good. Well done. So I have no name for that game. So it's just like question and answers, okay? Mm -hmm. So, are you more trusting like Erin or more secretive like Kestrel? I think I'm secretive. I'm secretive. No, but I'm also trusting. I'm totally trusting. <laughs> okay. I believe anything anybody tells me. Pretty much. You could lie to me. Okay. Easily. I won't. You I mean, did. You just did. She did. <laughs> I did a moment lie. ago. What? You did. You pulled this, you, you pulled this quote from somebody else. I tricked you. I didn't lie. <laughs> <laughs> this is a philosophical difference. I love, I, I love this hand motion that's happening over here. It's very French. <laughs> Are you more attached to blood relationship like the general or friends like Erin? Well, family comes first. 
Well, no. I mean, if my father was a war criminal, then family would not come first. I mean, Kesho's father is, he's done really horrible things. Yeah. Um, I mean, then again, it leads to war, so I guess that that comes with responsibilities and like difficulties. It's true. That's true, but he made some immoral choices. Well, how Kestrel figures out how to navigate that, that history that he has and how it's affected our own life is a big question for the book. Um, so family would not come first if my family did something horrible. Okay. Are you more likely to hold a grudge like Irex or do you easily let go like Kestrel? I hold grudges. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you talk to me, I mean, if you say, if you say, Marie, I, I behave so badly to you. I'm so sorry. I'll say, of course. I'm sorry I tricked you. <laughs> Please don't hold the All right. Since I said, since I said, I would forgive. If you were a character in your own story, would you be Herani or Valoria? Herani. Mm, me too. I think. Would you rather spend a night with cheat? Or a day in a room full of spiders and cockroaches. Wait, spend a night with cheat or uh, spend a day in a room full of spiders and cockroaches. The latter. And I really, really hate cockroaches and spiders. This is a horrible, horrible question you're asking. <laughs> if you were to challenge someone at a game of bite and sting, what would your state be? Well, it depends on what the other person has to gamble. So let's say you can gamble, like. I don't know, money, power, life. What I don't want to gamble my life. <laughs> no, no, nothing is worth that. Um, maybe I'd like to gamble favors. What kind of favors would that be? I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not play a game of I can stick together then. <laughs> In what other bookish world would you see Kestrel and Erin? And also, can you think of any bookish land that could help the Erini people gain their land back in some sort of alliance? Well, it's interesting that you ask the latter question because as the series continues, you see Erin make an alliance with, um, with a kingdom that can actually do that. So um, in some sense, the answer is already there in the books that, that come. I could see them in the Hunger Games. Okay. Not like not maybe in the games themselves, but in that world. Okay. You know, as part of the part of the plot to overthrow okay. Emperor Snow. Okay. Maybe. Wish them well. Um, May the odds be ever in their favor. Yes. It was I hope fun. you enjoyed them. I loved it. Um Si vous n'avez pas lu uh, The Winner's Curse ou le recommande, c'est très sympathique. Uh Erin. Voilà. Non, si vous aimez bien les. On est d'accord. She's not going to clip them. I guess. Never. Um, et donc voilà, j'espère que ces petits jeux vous auront plu. N'hésitez pas à les reproduire également euh, avec vos amis euh, pendant une soirée, euh, euh, voilà, avec des livres et tout ça. C'est toujours un peu fun. Et euh, le livre, je mettrai en barre d'infos. Et je vous remercie, Marie, d'avoir euh, participé à cette vidéo. Mais merci beaucoup à toi et à vos lectures. Merci. Bye.